Choo Choo and friends in the magical carpet. Chee Choo Cha! Look, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica are on their magical flying carpet. And they're off to the land of fairy tales. If you're ready for a fun ride, say chi, chu, cha. Chi, chu, cha. And today the carpet has brought Choo Choo and her friends to a little house made of bricks. What a cute little house! I wonder who lives in it. But they look so scared. I hope they aren't in any danger. Come on, we should go find out. It's the wolf! It's the wolf! Calm down, brothers. Hey, who is that? Is it the wolf? Wolf? We're not wolves. We're little kids. <coughs> Wolf! We're safe! Be serious, brothers. We're not safe yet. Hi, kids. We're the three little pigs. Hi, three little pigs. I'm Choo Choo. Me, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica. Hi, three little pigs. Tra la 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 la, the wolf is gone. Yippee! What's this wolf that you keep talking about? Are you in some kind of danger, little pigs? No, nah, now it's all okay. Now, now we, we can, can dance, dance and play. <laughs> yay, yay! Yay! Be serious, brothers. Yes, we are in danger. Why don't you come inside? I need to lock this door fast, and then I'll tell you our story. And so began the story of the three little pigs. Well... It all started the day our dear mommy told us that we were old enough to move out of her house and build our own houses. Once upon a time, there lived a mother pig who had three sons. The three little pigs, the eldest pig and the second pig were messy and lazy. And poor old mother pig spent all day cleaning up after them. Huh? Oh, mommy, you forgot to clear this mess. But one day, mother pig realized that the three little pigs were now old enough to go out and build their own houses. Listen up, my three little pigs. What, what is, is it, mommy? mommy? Is, Is it, it time, time for, for lunch? lunch? No, it's something much more important than that. You three are old enough now to look after yourselves. You must go out in the world and build your own houses. <laughs> Yay! Homes of our own, yeah! We'll do things our way. We'll eat and sleep all day. Oh, yeah! And make sure you build strong houses where you can be safe and happy. Mother Pig gave her three little pigs some good advice, but only the youngest pig was listening. And so, the three little pigs packed their belongings and set off. Aww, I'm exhausted. Soon, they met a man selling a pile of straw. Hey! need to build my house with. Look at this lovely straw. But brother, straw isn't strong. Mother told us to build strong houses. Let's walk further and look for something better to build our houses with. But the eldest pig was impatient and he hated hard work. And so he ignored his brother's advice. Look at 
at it this way. Straw is light. I won't have to lift heavy stuff. And I can build my house quickly. And then I can eat and sleep all day. A straw house will be just fine. After the eldest pig bought the straw to build his house, the second pig and the youngest pig walked on. Soon they saw a man selling a pile of sticks. Hey, look at those sticks. They're light and easy to lift. I can easily build my house with them. But brother, sticks aren't strong. Oh, who cares? I won't have to work hard to build my house. The second pig was also impatient and hated hard work, so he ignored his brother's advice. The youngest pig walked on alone, looking for something strong to build his house with. Soon he saw a man selling bricks, and he knew that with bricks, he would be able to build a strong house just like his mother had advised. And so, the three little pigs started building their houses. The eldest pig and the second pig, who hated hard work, finished very quickly and started relaxing. But while his brothers lazed and slept, the youngest pig worked long and hard to complete his house. And while the eldest pig slept peacefully, a very hungry wolf passed by. He noticed a pig in a flimsy little straw house. He knew at once that it would be an easy job to catch the little pig and eat him up. So the wolf walked up to the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Ah, a wolf! No, not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Very well then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And with a huff and a puff, the wolf brought the flimsy little straw house down. He pounced on the eldest pig, but by a stroke of luck, the pig got away and ran to his second brother's house, built with sticks as fast as piggy legs could carry him. There's a wolf following me! Help me! Relax, brother. You're safe now. Safe in a house made of sticks? Not really. The wolf followed the eldest pig to his brother's house and knocked on the door, dreaming of eating not just one, but two little pigs. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in! Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin! Very well then. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down! And with a huff and a puff, the wolf brought the flimsy little stick house down. He pounced on the pigs, but they managed to get away. And they ran off to their youngest brother's house as fast as their piggy legs could carry them. So, that's our story. The danger isn't over. We're scared that the wolf will be here any minute. Yes, the wolf will definitely be back. But the good thing is, this house is made of bricks. And the wolf won't be able to blow it down. But even then, we must think of a way to teach the wolf a lesson. So that he never bothers the three of you again. Yes, good idea, Chiku. Let's think. Hmm. I've got it. I know what we should do. We should somehow trick the wolf to come down the chimney. What? Get him to enter the house? But if he gets in, he'll eat us up. Wait, wait. 
that's only half the plan. Gather around, everybody. Let me explain the trick. What a great idea, Choo Choo. Brothers, you remember what you have to say? He's here. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Mr. Wolf, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Very well then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Be my guest, Mr. Wolf. You better give up, Mr. Wolf. A house made of bricks is too strong for your huffing and puffing. My brothers and I are safe. <laughs> Good thing the wolf doesn't know about the chimney. Ah, uh, yes, the chimney. I hope he doesn't see the chimney. Okay, pigs. I give up. <laughs> The wolf realized that the pigs were much too smart for him. He decided to leave that part of the woods forever and never bother the three little pigs again. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chiga. Thanks for helping us and thanks for teaching the wolf a lesson. Oh, brother, we've learned our lesson too. We're never going to be impatient and lazy again. In fact, we're going to work hard and build brick houses for ourselves. We've got to be going now. Goodbye, Goodbye three little pigs. Goodbye, our little friends, and thank you. thank you. That was fun. Now to our next adventure in Fairy Tale Land. If you want to go on another magical ride with Choo Choo and friends, say Chi Choo Cha. Cheese?